What's up, Rose Gang? I am back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about doing a little move back thing today, y'all. Um, but before we get started with the video, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please show me some love, support, whatever. Anybody who is subscribed to my channel, please show support and love. But, um, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, today we're going to be story time. And we can start. As y'all can see, I have wings and fries. About to smash, because I'm about to talk about some stuff. <laughs> But, um, first thing first I want to say is that I'm not a bad person. No. Things happen for a reason. Things happen, you know, no. I'm not saying that I will ever do it again. No, I'm not. But, that's how it happen. Let me show you. I'm going to be talking about the first time with the jail. Yeah. Let me show you what happened. On this day for it, I know that you know sometimes you don't never fall about your mother, you don't never about your mother. So then the day she raised you, she brought you in this world, she brought you here. Yeah, I get that a lot. But if somebody's doing something that's you know, so like accidentally, then you're gonna feel yourself, right? Okay. And one day, me and my mom's friend was staying with us. Um, The dog brought the picture that she had on the table. I think this is a dumb reason, though, to ask her to for But, you know, they're trying to get eight points or whatever. But, but my dog brought the picture. I don't know. No, what happened? Um... My mom's friend's daughter brought the picture the night before this this happened. And I had to make it, I had to put it on the dog because I didn't want her to get in trouble. So, I banged on the dog. I was like, it's called her. I was like, you listening. My dog broke the picture. And then she was like, the dog didn't break the picture. No, no, no. You know, as you get older, you tell your parents after you've done it too long. So you got to stand up for yourself. Or something that you didn't do. Regardless of anybody else did it. And if I put it on her because the, she's a child. She's younger. She's way younger than me. She's like since seventh grade. I'm going to put it on you. Put it on her. But yeah, like I was saying. I wasn't going to put that on her. Because she's younger. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no problem. Nobody else know her. How you put your hands on my daughter? All this and that. Like, no. No, 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 no. So, you like, yeah. Dog broke the picture. She didn't believe it. She started yelling at me. And meanwhile, I'm like, over, over the whole thing. Because, like, you now I got tired of her yelling at me all the time. I don't even you know. I started out, you know, as I get older, the more stronger I get. So, so yeah, I was like, you know, I don't know. Tired her to be young. Stand up on my own. Cause she's coming high. Huh? Okay, go ahead, y'all. Uh huh. Wow. All right, so she's in my house, loud, talking on me, and I get smart with her. She wanna come up to my face. No, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, I ain't gonna tell my mother. I love her to death. No matter what's happened, no matter what, I love her to death. But you're not gonna keep doing this to me. You're not gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something, but I feel like I need to be myself. Let's go for anybody. You know what I'm saying? If somebody commit you wrong, 
You want to fend yourself, like, on some real stuff? Like, dang, you disrespectful. Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want, like, a person hit mom. I mean, I didn't hit my mom. I don't, honestly, I don't like fighting. I just feel like if you hit me first, I'm going to hit you back. So, I don't really hit people first. I don't hit me first. So, I can have a reason to hit you back. Instead of me hitting you first. I mean, hey. This is what it is. Yeah. Hello. I have Will. I saw the agitation with him. She pushed me. That's the moment I knew that I was going to go to jail. Not really, but it just never happened. She pushed me. You know how mad you get? To the point where you know what you're doing, like you just swing. <laughs> That's what happened. She pushed me, I got mad, I swung right over before I started fighting. And then, she gave me a her house. Which I was gonna leave anyways. Kinda moving. Still moving in this year. Um Yeah, so um, still moving. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but yeah, it's my first time chasing these men from this place. That's it. But yeah, she called police and stuff. You know what I'm what happened? No, she called police and she hung up the phone. She hung up the phone, but it came in the way, unfortunately, I don't know why. But I was still in my room. On my phone. Come see that phone. It's like, you know, I have my mom today, and I want to bond my mom. So we have a bond to his, like best friend bond. I have a, I have more bond in my with my dad and my mom. Like, I really want to grow up close bond my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like get to know my mom better. Like you know, she better know stuff about me. You know, it's been a lot of stuff, tough times we had in the past years. And I would understand why. Because I used to never be around her like that to the point where it's like, you know, she know everything about me. I used to live with my grandma 24-7, like, straight up. My grandma took care of me. I mean, my stepdad took care of me. My dad took care of me, too, after the fact. But I still have close to my dad because I spent more time with my dad than my mother. So it's like, yeah, so... I was on the phone with people and stuff like that. Like, to the, you know, I was calling my mama. Blah, blah, blah. Police came upstairs. And I had on my little onesie. My Christmas onesie. Because that was, like, during New Year's. Almost New Year's. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Christmas was coming up. Pink or half a onesie, y'all. <laughs> so. After that, um, yeah, the police came and stuff like that. They was asking us questions and stuff like that. And, you know, the main reason why, you know, I fought her because I was I was doing self defense because the fact that my mom she 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 see she's the type of person who like to bring up stuff and that can collapse and it could kill me. So therefore, if somebody puts something on you, what you expect for me to do? Stay here and let her do it? Well, no, I defend myself. I have to fight her back. Like no, you're not gonna put that on me. You're not gonna put your gun on me. And if it if it, cl it collapses, then you just done. Like you just you just done. You you just hit no way out. You know what I'm saying? So she gotta be careful with that. Cause that shit could flick up, that, that could flick off and hit me. You know what I'm saying? I had to defend myself, like you know, some real stuff. And the only reason why we got arrested, because you know, y'all know how your skin is like some people's skin is actually get get red easily and stuff like that. So my skin was there, my skin is sensitive, and you could see all the marks. Like if you punch me or something like that, you could see my marks. I had um marks right here, right here, stuff like that, and they um. They arrested us. 
honestly, y'all, if I would have known the police was going to come anyways, I could have just really just walked out the house and just wait till the police got finished or whatever. Because I don't like jail. I don't like police officers. Even though I'm going to college for a criminal, and I said criminal, crime investigator, which is dealing with police. But I don't want to be the police officer to go to, to go outside and like, you know what I'm saying, stop people with traffic and all that. I'd be the type of person who have been the clerk or something like in their own office or something like that. But yeah, so they came and stuff like that and that's the way they saw that. We got arrested for family violence and battery. My mom fought because she the one started and then finished. So I was messed up. You know what I'm saying? But we really got around fighting fighting because I just got tired of her always coming up to me about something I ain't do. You know what I'm saying? It's basically off a uh, like it was like crazy, like y'all. My jail experience was crazy, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. I met three girls. Three young ladies, three women. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Three women, a girl. Three women in a jail cell. And, like, it was, like, when I first, first went there, it was, like, y'all know I wear wigs. Like, I told y'all my last video, I wear wigs. I used to buy wigs for the first time, I had a wig on. Man, I had to take my wig off and everything. Like, I looked so horrible. I ain't gonna lie. But my skin was bright. Yeah, my skin was glooming. You hear me? But, yeah. It was, like, crazy, though. Like, it was, like, on some real stuff. I'm like, I'm I'm not a bad person. I don't expect myself to go to jail. I'm not going back. But Lord, God knows that. It's just that I'm sorry. I'm not for the, I'm not fine no more. This is done with me. Unless you pick with me, if you if I'm doing self defense, yeah, that's different. But other than that, I'm not for the fight you. Cause you never know what people I do. People do call police on you. So yeah, my jail parents was crazy. It was like. You know, some people there, I saw people red red on. I was like, I didn't really know the difference for them, but now I know the difference. The difference. Um, I met three women there. They just really moved to Georgia, and they got arrested already. One of them from Florida, one of them was shoplifting in Walmart. But y'all know Walmart is always going to be police officers there. Pack. It's going to be Black Friday. It's going to be Christmas. It's going to be all them holidays. So y'all already know 12 going to come regardless. Like, y'all y'all like to steal, baby. Y'all cook to, huh? You know what's going to happen, dude. That's happening every year. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm going to just say, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, tell you, I didn't take no shower the whole time I was there. Like, honestly, I did not take no shower there. I didn't even eat any food. The only thing I really ate was the um, sandwiches and their cookies. I didn't eat nothing else. They food is so nasty. You no, know, like, they, ill, ill, ill. It's nasty. I don't ever eat any food, y'all. Yeah, but, yo, I had a, that was the worst day of my life. Like, and I feel like, you know, I'm a good person. Like, it's not me. Like, I never thought of myself, imagined myself being in jail. Like, honestly, I ever experienced this like I have or anything. Like, it's not a good place to go. It's not. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal with this court stuff. You got to do all this stuff. Like, it's just too much. And I just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it just scarred me, like, on some real stuff. Like, it's not me. Like, I'm not a... No, like I'm not a bad person at all. Just sometimes you have to fend yourself something that you know what I'm saying. You gotta fend yourself sometimes, you know. But yeah, so jail time was crazy. It was not good, y'all. It's not so. At the end of the day, nobody goes to jail. It's horrible. Um. But yeah, just based on what happened, like she got mad at me and stuff like that, I wanted to get in my face and stuff and push me, and I was like, nah, you're not gonna do this to me, not to me, you know, because I didn't do nothing to you, I didn't do nothing to your picture. If I would have did something to your picture, it's different. But don't put it on me if I'm telling you the dog broke it, which the dog really didn't break it, which my friend daughter broke it. But I'm not gonna let her argue with her daughter over something that you should have put on the floor. You know, kids in the house, why would you put the picture on the floor? Like, come on now. Everybody be in the living room. Who does it? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I wasn't gonna let her get argued about then a whole nother situation coming in about them two fight. Then you know, that's too much. So I'm like, no, I bump it. I'm gonna blame on the daughter. Dog broke it and she didn't believe it. And we got to fight. And just it. We got arrested. And that's not a good thing because, like, I feel like it's gonna mess up my career. Which they should have been took that out my record. 
I don't know. But, yeah, so that's what happened, you know. It's just crazy, you know. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, so, um, that's the best of my experience for that. And, um, that was the end of my story. If you experience this in your lifetime, it's not a good time. It's not a good day to actually go to jail. It's not a good thing to go to jail, y'all. It's not good. It's good. This is good for all kids. Do not go to jail over some dumb stuff, please. Don't shoplift. Don't do no no bad stuff. It's not good for you in your future, okay? But that's it for the video. If you understand what I'm saying or you support, you know, what happened, why the reason why I actually went to jail, um, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I will see y'all again.